Welcome to the Miller Park Zoo. I'm Jay Tetzloff, I'm the zoo superintendent here. Uh, we're here to show off our newest member of the zoo. It's a California sea lion. She's 10 months old. Uh, we just brought her in last night. She was uh, abandoned as a pup. Um, the uh, rehabilitation center uh, brought her in, brought her back to health, and uh, we brought her in last night. She was introduced to Gremlin, our, our uh, current resident, and they've, uh, they're trying to figure out who's boss of the pond. Uh, as you can hear Gremlin behind me, uh, it's getting me a little hungry, but uh, she's been a great addition. Uh, the, the youngster does not have a name. We're looking to uh, get a name. It's on Facebook right now, We're looking for people to give us their suggestions. And uh, I think people are going to love watching these two interact and, uh, for, for years to come. So Jay, our new girlfriend sea lion came all the way from California. How does a sea lion get from California to Bloomington, Illinois? It takes a lot of scheduling, a lot of coordinating. Um, in this case, we actually sent two staff members out to California uh, to meet her at the Marine Mammal Center. Uh, they actually rode in the back of a FedEx cargo plane uh, to Memphis, to Chicago. And then we had another staff member drive up to Chicago, pick them up and drive them back. Uh, we got it done unloading last night about 10.30 at night. And then this morning we were ready to go uh, and then introduced them this morning. Since she was found so young in rehab, why did they not try and introduce her back into the wild? Because when she was stranded at such an early age and she had some health problems at first, they had to put on a lot of intense special care, bottle feedings, just to get her back up to health. Um, because they had to put so much time and effort into her, she became very attractable to people. She likes people. And if they were to reintroduce her back to the wild, there's a good chance she would walk right up to someone and you don't know what they would, that person would do. So for her safety and for the person's safety, uh, we needed to find a good home for her in captivity. So that's where, why she's here at the Miller Park Zoo. So that means the keepers here are gonna have a new good friend. Will they teach her any tricks? Yeah, we'll work on like the basic husbandry pieces first, learn to be able to get her hands on her, touch her, uh, make sure she's healthy, um, make sure we're able to weigh her, things like that. So um, yeah, keepers are so excited about being able to work with her.